Connecting two Rev Expansion Hubs. To configure your Android device for two Rev Expansion Hubs, you must change the address of one hub in the FTC app. To do this, open either the Driver Station or Robot Controller app, go into Settings, and click on Advanced Settings. Here, you can change the hub's addresses to any you'd like. Having one hub named 1 while the other hub is named 2 is a good strategy to differentiate them. In order to connect two Rev Expansion Hubs, you will need the following. An extra Rev Expansion Hub, an XT30 extension cable, and a 3-pin JST-PH cable. To supply the second hub with power, daisy-chain the battery from the first hub using the XT30 extension cable. Start by plugging the female end of the extension cable into the first hub next to the battery port. Then connect the male end to the battery port on the second hub. To connect data between the two hubs, plug one end of the JST-PH cable into each hub, each time using one of the two RS-485 ports. The RS-485 ports are outlined in black. Make sure not to confuse them with the adjacent UART ports outlined in orange. Lastly, using two Rev Expansion Hubs does not affect how you configure your robot. The only difference is that the second hub will appear as a component in the portal of the first, and can be accessed by clicking into the first hub's portal. From here, you can configure as normal by following the Configuring Your Robot tutorial.